Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Prism 3D models by using the Blender 3.6 and finally you can export it as an FBX for any other 3D animation software like game engines, like Unreal Engines, Unity's, iClones, etc. This is a 3D modeling tutorial how to create a Prism 3D model. So first in Blender 3.6 as there are more, I'm going to delete everything. I press A and press delete button to delete everything. Next, I just click add, add a mesh, add a cube like this. Right. Next, I'm going to click and select this cube and next go to the edit mode. And here, what we're going to do is just delete some of the faces. So I click here so that I can select the faces. So first, I'm going to click and delete this face. I press delete button to delete the faces like this. Next, I'm going to delete this face, delete faces. Click, delete faces. Then I click and delete the faces. Next, you can see it only left two faces we need to reserve. Next, just click here so that you can select the vertices. So I click the first vertices here and I already selected this. Next, I hold the shift and click this vertices. Then I click this. So three vertices selected, I right click, then click new edge face from vertices. Now you can see it already completed one, one face of the prism. Next. We do it the same way at another side. So I click, hold the shift, select and select the third one. Right click, new edge, face from vertices. So now we're already done, two sides. Next, what we can do is just click this so that you can select the edges. So I click this edges and select it, hold the shift, select another two, Edges, then I still hold the shift and select the fourth one. So all of this selected already, right click it, then new face from edges. Now done, this is a complete prism. So the next, if you want to change the shape of the prism, let's say you want to make it become a triangle prism, you can just click this so that you can select the, the edges, then click this. So you can adjust the location. Let's say if you want to have a triangle prism like this. So another way is you can just increase the length. So you have to click this here so that you can select the face, the face select. Then if you select this face, then you move it, then you can increase the length of the prism. It is pretty simple, it is really easy to create a prism just by using some of a really basic 3D modeling skill in Blender 3.6. So you can modify it anytime. Once you feel satisfied already, if you want to export it as FBX, first you can just back to the object mode and select some color, select from here. So click this so that you can show the material texture. You can add some of the colors from here. Once you feel satisfied and done already, the final step is just save this, save this, click file, save as, save as a blend file, as demo, I'm going to save it on my desktop, I name this as prism. Right, I click save as, then it is going to save as a blend file. Next, finally, just click export FBX. So the path mode, choose copy. This setup is to make sure that of the material texture embedded inside the FBX exported. I'm going to export it on my desktop. Now we can see the FBX already done exporting. You double click it and have a check. It is automatic open by using the 3D viewer in Microsoft Windows 10. And this is exactly the prism that I already created in Blender 3.6 just now. So you can use the FBX 3D models for any of any other 3D software, like 3D modeling software, like Blender, Unity, Unreal Engine, some of the game engines. 
and some of the 3D animation software like iClones, Autodesk, Maya, etc. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to create a prism 3D models in Blender 3.6. This is a 3D modeling tutorial. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!